MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, Mustang love Medic. your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1972 Mach 1 Mustang Restoration Project. You know, the Dynaflow, and by 1950 they had the Power Glide and all that other stuff. So they weren't selling cars like these other guys were. All of a sudden they came out with the, the Ford Warner, the Ford O'Matic. And uh, extreme Mustang Medic close up. <laughs> extreme Mustang. That's what we do. We do extreme Mustang Medic close ups. Extreme close up. They, close they up. love it. They love it. <laughs> All this comes apart. All the valves will come out of that valve body there. Make sure everything's nice and clean and moving smooth. So a lot of guys will just wash these things. I see guys whack them on the tables and <laughs> whack try, them on the table. Yeah, they try to because their uh, valves are iron. The bores are all aluminum, and sometimes they get a burr in them and they'll whack them on the table. And you know, I'm guilty as charged. I've done it a few times in my career. Trust me. But uh, well, thank you, you for your you transparency. Got, you have to do it cleanly. But I do it after the valves are all out of the bore. Put them back in. I'll one at a time give them a little whack to reseat them. Generally, I'll give them a little the bore a little polish. And, uh, and and then polish the valves on a high speed. Uh, I'll turn this thing up to 3,000 RPM and spin them with about 400 paper. Polish the valves and I'll put them in the board, give them a little bit of a light slam, and it just cleans them up real nice. Hmm. And once they're able to move on their own, gravity wise, they're good to go. So, good stuff, man. This is a good video. Thank you, Damon. Really? Oh, yeah. We love to, we love to see the air my working. Mother, when, when do you get to see this kind of stuff? My mother would be proud. When do you get to see this kind of stuff? You, you know? just don't. You don't. You don't. I prefer to have customers actually stand here. It's an art. And watch their transmissions come apart. Yeah, so yeah, they, once, they yeah. have more understanding of what's well, going on. Well, it's easier to tell them when they're standing there what you find wrong with them, you know. So everything's pulling apart nice here. Nothing's fighting here. Right it's kind of nice. That's good news. Yeah, I didn't pull the uh, outside bolts off the uh, center support, so I need to do that shortly. But before I do that. Oh. I'm going to lose some bearings up in there now. I didn't want that to come out. Getting the rear bands out is always fun. He's going one way. See that little notch right there? Yeah. That goes over towards the anchor, towards the adjustment screw. A lot of guys I see do these things have that band in there backwards. And it drives me nuts when I see that. It lets me know they didn't know what the hell they were doing. They right. were just faking their way through it. Right. I see a lot of fakers. A lot of fakers. Yeah. I'm going to actually knock this little tab over if it's still on there. I can't see it under the grease, but I know, I know. it's there. I tried to power wash it, man. I thought I did a good job. There's so much grease on there, I can't tell where the damn tab is, but it's supposed to be on the side over here, so let me get a little... I call it chisel, chiseling away the barnacles. Well, you had a lot of crap on this thing you washed off, right? Oh, someone's already flattened it. That must have been me. Was that you? I must have. I, I don't think anyone would have left it there. Is that my 5H or my, my 960? This is what I want. So. This takes out one of the central port bolts. There's one more over here. Right there. I can feel it. Yeah. It's so dirty, you can't tell. I know. It's still locked out to keep those from coming out. So. So Dana's breaking this down right now, and he said that some guys like to leave it straight up, let the rust stay on it, do, rebuild the trans, and bolt it back up. Our, my tendency is to clean it up and then paint it black. It's your, it's up to you guys, uh, both um, Mr. Pizza Guy on your 72, and for you, uh, uh, Bob, on your 69, let me know what you want us to do. He's, he, um, Dana's not going to paint it. He's going to rebuild it as, as contracted, and let us know. We'll paint it. We'll what? High clutch is smoked. It smoked? It smoked. All right, good. There's a good reason that we're doing this. Here you go. Oh, Check, this out. Check this out. Check this out. What did you say, Aunt Carla? I'm sorry, Carlos. What did you say, Dana? That band is smoked. Look how black that thing is. This thing's burnt black. Smoked band on the trans on the 72 Goner. Mach And I have two or three of these in stock right now. I just had to reline. My reliner back in Texas reline three of these. Nice. And these are hard to get. These rigid early ones are so hard to get a hold of. All right, there you go. That's why we got Dana doing the, our transes. There you go. That's smoked. 
Is that what that is? Is that on the flock? Mustang Medic. This video series in part has been brought to you by Z Pizza. I've eaten there, guys. Original logo, original recipes, the original Z Pizza. Food's awesome. Phone number there is 949-551-1555. And you can see Rachel's pretty darn excited about Z Pizza. She's like, I want more Z Pizza. I want more Z Pizza. She's hugging, she's hugging the car. She's hugging the car, guys. Check out the pizza. Irvine, California. Give them a call. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.